Neurodivergence can be tough. The term may sound fancy, I know, but it's accurate. Think of it like this, writer folks. Think of it like one of your main characters who is part alien. I know it's not the same, but it may help. So think of Mr. Spock, but without the glam and the glory. <laughs> Neurodiverse people may have some inborn Vulcan powers, but many know better than to talk about them. Besides, at least personally, my human shortcomings make it a lot less likely that I'll be comfortable revealing them. A lot about my experience involves hiding what I am. Like many ND people, when forced out of hiding, I've gone through the criticism, ostracism, isolation, and worse. Actually, the isolation hasn't made me any better at communicating with so-called normal people, if this normal I hear about is even a thing, <laughs> which seemed to have been the goal, maybe? Good in writing, I seem strange in person because I'm worse in private, <laughs> meaning I don't follow people. Now, and I don't mean Twitter follow. I'm eager to Twitter follow people and have some sort of sense of community. I mean, I don't tend to get them, capital get. I often pretend to do so, so that they're more comfortable, though, because I care about being helpful. In case you want to know why folks like me hide their brain differences, it's because increasingly it seems well-intentioned humans aren't able to make mistakes and recover from them. I don't know why or what changed, but the new brew seems intolerant of that. This makes community and any sense of belonging even more important. So, and this is long overdue, thank you, thank you, if you followed and supported me.